Hey everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. Today is another LEGO Weekly News Update. Lots and lots of things happen in the world of LEGO this week. Probably the biggest story out of the week is the uh, the two new Star Wars sets that were announced that are eventually gonna be out in January 1st. So that's still quite a long time. I feel like LEGO's just trying to keep people interested in the new upcoming Star Wars stuff, but still no word yet on those rumors we talked about last week. Um, ideas got another set voted in with 10,000 votes of support. It's probably gonna be a weekly thing. And this week we did not add a new model to the web store, but uh, it is July 4th, as in it was July 4th yesterday or two days ago now by the time you're watching this. And there is still the 15% off store-wide sale in the entire web store. So any of the models uh, that you might wanna get instructions for, 15% off for everything. So anyways, uh, I did a studio tour talking about that as well, basically just doing uh, taking inventory of what the heck have we been making for the past year and a half. It's been roughly a year and a half since we opened up an instructions little web store on the side for Brick Vault. So anyways, uh, that was kind of fun because I honestly didn't even know how many builds uh, we had created uh, during, during that whole time. And it's quite a lot, especially considering the size of some of them. So anyways, I uh, highly recommend you check out that studio tour video and also our web store, www.brickvault.com. That toys. You can click the link in the description below and July 4, July 4 is that promo code for 15% off. All right, I think I've said everything. Let's get into the news. So now finally jumping into the first story of the week. Uh, by far the biggest thing I think you guys want to see first are the two new Star Wars sets that were revealed and will be available for January 1st. It's a bit of an unexpected reveal. They are both from A New Hope, and there's a few little things I like about them, but for the most part, they don't feel particularly impressive to me. Okay, let's get into the details. The very first one is set number 75270, Obi-Wan's Hut. It's got exactly 200 pieces, recommended for ages seven and up, and will retail for $29.99 US dollars. Included are four figs, that being Luke, Obi-Wan, a Tusken Raider, and R2-D2. Hard to tell whether or not any of the figs themselves have new prints, but there are two things in this set that are technically new and will most likely remain exclusive to the set, that being the print for the floating training remote ball droid that shoots little zappy lasers at Luke as he trains uh, with the lightsaber. That's included. Technically, that thing was on the Falcon. You never saw it in Obi-Wan's hut, but I suspect Obi-Wan may have brought it with him from his house and brought it onto the Falcon at some point. For some reason, that just doesn't feel like something uh, Han had lying around the Falcon uh, on his own. Anyways, that's an exclusive print for that minifigure head. And then the better piece, the cooler thing, I think, is the Princess Leia hologram element. Similar to how the Palpatine trans blue little hologram figure looks, this one is for Leia. At first, I thought this was just a, a redo of Palpatine, but when you look closer, it is in fact Leia with her hooded robes. It's a slightly different mold. You can see that Obi-Wan's hut folds open and closed, and I probably don't have to say it, but yes, that is blue milk, or at least a blue milk container on the table. Considering the number of figs included, uh, $30 doesn't surprise me, though it doesn't necessarily feel like a $30 set. It feels a little bit small. And then the second set revealed, also going to be available on the same day, January 1st, is Luke's Land Speeder, another Luke's Land Speeder set, set number 75271. 236 pieces, also recommended for ages 7 and up. And right off the bat, we have an exclusive Luke because he comes with a new uh, piece that's kind of a, a little poncho piece that goes over him and what looks like a slight step back in terms of uh, detailing for a land speeder. Not a big fan of them just using sticker pieces for the outside. It really does feel like just not as good of a build for the land speeder. It's called Luke's land speeder. They've done this at so many times. So it does feel a little funny that they uh, they kind of skimped out a little bit on the build or, or it just feels that way to me. I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know what you think about the build. But in general, I don't really find it very impressive. It also has C-3PO and a Jawa. Both of their prints look like the same ones that we've gotten before. And let me know what you guys think about these two new sets. There's obviously going to be a lot more Star Wars sets available on January. 
January 1st, and I'm thinking perhaps LEGO just threw these ones out there during the month of July to keep people interested and talking about upcoming Star Wars stuff. Personally, neither of them are sets that uh, really get me totally excited. I do like a couple of the new figs and pieces, but that is that. Now moving on to Lego ideas. I guess this is just going to be a weekly thing now. Guess what? A new set got 10,000 votes of support. This is the Japanese Tea Garden by Kusi Goosey. Excellent name for a builder handle. Very good. And this one does feel familiar as well. I'm not sure if we had uh, supported this in the past or talked about it in a different episode. Submitted back in September of 2018. This thing's been up for almost a year. And honestly, it doesn't surprise me that this build ended up getting those 10,000 votes. Just like the old fishing store, this scene doesn't really have to fit in with any other preset theme that LEGO has created, like Creator Modular, for example. So it doesn't compete with something that LEGO produces. And the quality is really nice. The tea garden looks excellent. I'm a little bit curious as to how somebody could actually walk across that little bridge. Do they have to climb up it uh, to get to get across? I'm not really sure. My guess is that if LEGO decided to turn this into a set, they'd probably be producing and designing a bunch of exclusive minifigures to go along with it. So this project now enters the second review stage of 2019, going along with the UCS Space Shuttle Atlantis, Thunderbirds Are Go, Gravity Falls, Mystery Shack, Pursuit of Flight, History Museum, The Office, and Medieval Blacksmith. Let me know so far which ones you think have the strongest chance of getting pushed through. That's a lot so far for this uh, this second review stage of 2019. And with so many projects getting uh, at least the 10,000 votes of support, it would be cool to see two get chosen at the end of this stage or possibly three. I don't know if they've got a limit for that, but it's definitely something that I hope Ideas is at least uh, uh, willing to explore. Now, I don't know why it's getting so popular for sets to be getting voted through. Perhaps it has something to do with LEGO Ideas building contests. Guess what? They have uh, they've announced another one. They're always having, I think, at least two going on at any time. And this next contest is the Moon to Mars one. This one asks you to show the community what kind of space vehicles you think it would take to make it to Mars. So that's pretty straightforward. It feels like, you know, make any type of spaceship or rocket, submit it in to their uh, ideas contest. And there's a few different tiers of winners. First and second prize get a ton of uh, space sets. Specifically, most of them have to do with the latest LEGO City Mars Exploration line, though the LEGO Creator Lunar Lander is also included, and the Saturn V. Anyways, I always think these building contests are pretty cool. I don't know when uh, ideas really started pushing for having a lot more of them, but I certainly enjoy the uh, the outreach to the community and the cool builds that people submit. As of the publishing of this video, there are 25 days left to submit a space design to the Moon to Mars uh, contest. And now let's slingshot through some other little stories. Barnes & Noble has a building event for a golden snitch. It looks like it's orange though. You've got to sign up for it. And the building event at participating stores is going to be on July 13th at 2 p.m. The Lego Tower game that we've talked about a couple of times before in the past is now fully available. There was, uh, I think, just a demo version uh, available up until now. You can find it on Google Play or the App Store, free to play. And by the way, everything I talk about in this episode have links in the description below if you want to learn more. With the Stranger Things Season 3 coming, LEGO is now including this little uh, poster uh, included with a purchase if you were to buy the Stranger Things set. It's going to be available up until July 14th or until supplies last. And they also made a little video about a gigantic Stranger Things uh, mosaic being built. This was done at Santa Monica Pier. It's a really, really excellent mosaic. I think uh, the art style lends itself well to being put into small little uh, one by one studs. And this is a Lego panda that I happened to find on Reddit, built by uh, Lego Truman. Awesome little brickheads based design for a creature. Now I thought I was done with the news, but I just saw this little article pop up from Alan Tran at the brickfan com and it looks like Lego Ideas has announced their uh, activities beta is now available for everybody. A couple months back, this activities platform uh, launched for just the most active users on Ideas. Now it is open to the general public. And from what I can understand, it's almost like a building contest platform, but without the contest. Just fun building challenges where people can uh, do small projects that don't take up a ton of time and you guys can create, share, and have fun building little bits and pieces. You can check out their announcement for more information and their latest activity that I think now is available to anybody is Build Your Holiday Essentials. 
All right, that's going to be it for this weekly news update, everybody. Remember to come back uh, same time next week for another LEGO weekly news update. And also, tomorrow is top 10 mocks of the week. I've already actually picked them out or most of them out uh, as I record right now. They're really, really cool. Some Definitely some strange ones are going to be in there for this one. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's going to be it. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Uh, July 4 promo code, 15% off at the web store. All right, that's going to be it. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey, everybody. Wanted to pop in very quickly, let you know that we've got a Lego web store, www.brickvault.toys, where we sell these step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly awesome Lego mocks. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel, as well as the designers that build these amazing Lego designs. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Check us out at www.brickvault.toys, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.